Hey there guys, Balmung4 here back with another Twilight Azure Gaming video. Now, we're going to be a little different this time with uh, how we do it. So we are not doing a let's play, we are not doing a react, we are actually doing a box opening. Funny enough, I have messed up this box opening. Okay, so I originally had two of these Yu-Gi-Oh! Mystery Power Box boxes. And one, and I no longer have it, I threw the box out, let me, I'm grabbing my phone to make sure I say it right. The Yu-Gi-Oh! Agent Legacy Mystery Box. It looked like this. Right? All right. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let me set my phone down. Now, I started recording with an actual tr camcorder I had, the things. What I didn't realize is somehow, even though it has autofocus, that it no longer autofocused. Um, I opened up one of the mystery power boxes and the legacy one and well I'm going to use these as sleeves unless I pack sleeves in this power box just in case I pack anything now when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh I've been out of the game for well let's just say when I was playing last played pendulum was just being released for the first time and I didn't quite like it um, since then much like with Magic the Gathering, I have stopped playing card games, right? Drink. Oh, my mouth was getting dry. Sorry. And I'm not going to edit, edit any of this out either. Um, so I'm getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh! All right, so you'll see more Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff occasionally. But for what I want to do with this is to unbox it and see if we can get any profit. Now, with these boxes, let me say I didn't technically pay for them. Um, let's just say I won them in a little Yu-Gi-Oh contest giveaway that for a channel I was following, but I am wanting to get back into Yu-Gi-Oh in general. So you will see more Yu-Gi-Oh content. Now with these, any profit is profit, and I may sell these cards if they are interesting to me or they're worth anything. So you may see prices pop up. You may see something at the end telling you what was the worth of this box based on whatever common price I find for it as well as the value of the cards inside. And that money point is where we'll be able to buy other mystery products to see if we can continue to make a profit. Okay, so we are going to open this box here and I will be adjusting the camera because as I said, the camcorder I was filming on did not properly cast it. So the camera I'm using to record my face is actually gonna be the camera we use to record the box opening. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Here we go. Hey there guys. Now we are back as you can see here. Here's the Yu-Gi-Oh power box. We are going to open it. Um, these sleeves right here are the sleeves we are going to use. So hold on a second. I'm going to open this thing up and we'll be right back. Okay guys, as you can see we got the wrap off. Um, yeah, it's first time doing one of these box openings. So hopefully I've gotten everything pretty nicely done here so let's hope we don't mess anything up all right we're gonna open up the insides we're gonna see what we have um, so we do have some more sleeves but they look like they are pretty cheap like Yu-Gi-Oh sleeves so yeah we will just stick with these guys um, so let me throw that back out here up in that little corner, whatever. So that's the mystery item. Um, Extreme Force Special Edition. Battles of Legend, Relentless Revenge, times two, Shadows of Valhalla. And then the mystery legacy pack is Invasion of Chaos. Okay, we'll just put this, I don't know, over here, I guess, for now. We'll put it down here. Um, yeah, so we're going to save this for last. We'll put those three. That one will do. And these will move off to the side because we're not going to use these. Like, in all honesty, these sleeves are quite ugly. Like... Like, yeah, I mean, I don't really like how they look. They're hard to see even without the lighting. So if we get any, 
anything rare or above, we're just going to throw in these guys. So I'm going to get these open really quick and put off to the side. Okay, very nice. And we're just shoving that box over there. All right, so Vision of Chaos, we'll move that out. Okay, so let's get into these guys. Battles of Legend, Relentless Revenge. I honestly don't know what any of these packs or what the value is until after this. So you'll see the values pop up, but for now, since I'm not getting back in the game, um, I honestly don't know what we're expecting. Okay, so five cards, first edition, that's awesome. All right. I mean, if there's something in this video that's like, oh my god, I don't react to just because I don't know. All right. Um, oh, it looks like the uh, secret is right in front. So, Hibernation Dragon. Oh, everything's ultra rare in here. Eater of Millions. Pyrorex the Elemental Lord. Neospatian Dark Panther. He actually looks pretty fly. And the Noble Knights Brothers. Alright, so we're actually gonna sleeve all these guys up. We should have probably sleeved them right away. I honestly don't know if anything here is worth value. Um So yeah, I mean hopefully something here is, because remember from now on. Any profit we make when I sell these guys off, which will probably be on eBay, maybe? Or TCG Player. I don't know. There'll be links down below. Um, yeah. We'll see. We'll see what's up. All right. Next pack. We're getting this guy open. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to throw garbage down there as I smack my camera. I am a professional. Okay. Since the secret's in the front now, we know that. Let's put it behind. All right. Halion the Time Lord. Summon Dice. Full Metal Foes Alkaist. Hayate. Hayate. Sorry, the light was bothering me. Oh, it is Hayate, the Earth Star. And Gilfie, the Phantom Bird. I mean, in all honesty, I've been in the way of the game since Pendulum. I know other stuff have come out, and I've kind of caught myself up on the rules, but yeah. I mean, I have a feeling these packs are kind of the... You're not going to get anything really out of value out of them. Just everything's pretty, and... If there's something here that is a decent card and I'm missing out on it, well, I look like an idiot, don't I? All right, so next, we'll move him up. Move that little up there. All right, Shadows in Valhalla. Five cards per pack. Don't know what's all in here. I mean, honestly, I could have hit something really big out of those packs, and I won't know until I'm in editing, and I'm going to be like, man, I feel like an idiot. Um... I don't know why I'm opening packs like this. I just always have. Um, just in case, let's move that front card back. Okay. Neospatian Glow Moth. Ash Blossom in the Joyous Spring. Wait, isn't that a hand trap? Oh, okay. There is a card there. So hold on. Strike Ninja. Invoked. Mechab and Gateway to Chaos. So that's secret. That's ultra. Let's put all of these guys in sleeves. Hopefully, some of these things will have some value to it. You know, see what money we can make out of this. If we can use it to put into a, uh, you know, unless I build a deck and I see something like you know. Because I don't, I'm gonna, look, you know, get back into the game fully, guys. So we will see. Um, Extreme Force Special Edition. So 
I guess there's... Oh god, there's like no easy way to get in this thing. You just kind of have to tear at it, don't you? Okay, um... Okay, so we're throwing that down there. Whatever. Okay, so we are opening this guy up. So there's two or four variants. So... Let's look at the variants first. Don't know if there's anything cool in here. Called by the grave. Interesting. And Psy Frame Gear Gamma. Interesting. Keep saying interesting because I don't know what any of these guys do. So yeah. Extreme Force. Now these are nine cards per pack. So uh yeah, I don't think there's a um there are, yeah, so there are comments here. Oh hey, synchro. FA Motorhome Transport Bit Trooper FA Test Run Kuro Obe Karate Spirit. Oh, it's a link. It's rare. Whoop, as I drop it. Just trying to like angle it so I can read. Curious the Light Sworn da Dominion. We'll throw commons up here. Mecha Knight Yellow Star. Ghost Trick Renovation, Trindangle Base Gardener, and Lulur's Circuit. Okay, we are putting commons over on the box. Rares. And then this is a uh, super rare. All right. So wait, I've heard that certain rares are guaranteed per pack now. So does the secret rare, I don't even know if this is one of those packs. Um, does that, does secret rares replace the rares or do they replace the, I mean the super rares? The, Regular, who knows? Nagel's protection, tin dangle, Delaney, Delaney, whatever. Flame administrator, Van Dread battle lord, Ghost bird of bewitchment, Mechanite green horizon, FA auto navigator, recovery sorcerer, and FA city grand prix. Okay, come here. Ren Dread Battle Lord. I'm hoping to see if we can't see if we get an Ultra or something to see what. I want to know what slide replaces. In all honesty, oh god, this pack did not open up as smooth as all the other packs we've gotten. Now, Invasion of Chaos, I remember that. I played since like OG days, guys. Like out on the playground, freaking Kyber Starter, Yuki Starter, Legend of Blue Eyes. So, yeah, I played for a long time up until Pendulum. Link Hole. Mech Knight Orange Sunset, Column Switch, Yokozuna Sumo Spirit, there's a Pendulum, Mech Knight Indigo Eclipse, World Legacy Scars, Mech Knight Green Horizon, World Legacy World Shield, Recovery Sorcerer. So those commons we'll put up here. And nothing, so my question goes unanswered. Uh, yeah, if uh, they do or don't. All right, here we go. So Invasion of Chaos, of course, you know, the big guys you're looking for, I think, are probably the same big guys you're looking for. So if we get anything out of this, it'll be a win. Oshama Delta Hurricane, Hyper Hammerhead, Big Corolla. Oh, hey, Strike Ninja. Mata the Zapper, Dimension Distortion, Zero Gravity, Stumbling, and Death Corolla. So... We've gotten two Strike Ninjas. One from Invasion of Chaos. They got one with the Ash Blossom. Where is it? Here it is. The Ultra Rare. So. So yeah, for Rares, just click over. Strike Ninja, Mech Knight Indigo Eclipse, Van Dread Battlelord. Curious the Light Sworn Dominion, Psy Frame Gear Gamma, Called by the Grave, Neospatian Glow Moss, Ash Blossom, Joy Spring, and Invoked Mechabe. I think that's how you pronounce it. Ultra Rares, we have Invasion of Chaos Strike Ninja. 
Halion the Time Lord, Summon Dice, Full Metal Alchist, Hayate the Earth Star, Eater of Millions, uh, Pyrorex the Elemental Lord, Neospatian Dark Panther, and Noble Knight Brothers. Secrets we have Gateway to Chaos, Gilf the Phantom Bird, and Hibernation Dragon, and obviously we have just four rares Mata Zapper, World Legacy Scars. Uh, Great Bird of Bewitchment and Mech Knight Yellow Star. So yeah, guys, and then we have all these commons here, as well as this horrible shiny pack of stuff that just, the reflection is just horrible. But guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, yeah, please like, subscribe. Um, comment down below if I did get something and I didn't realize it. Uh, and yeah, if you have any suggestions or anything to a new player coming back, let me know. Until then, guys. Peace.